All right, now let's start with the action bar menu. Right click and then new android resource file and let the resource type be menu and let the file name be common menu since we are going to use it for all the activities after a user has logged in then let's keep on this design tab in the layout then on the left side under the palette we have this menu item so just drag and drop menu item to the right side of the action bar then you can click on the split tab and there you can see that we have one menu and inside the menu we have one item now to create more item we can just copy and paste this item tag first we will define menu items so we will have to give it a title which will be displayed and then we have to use our icon in case if you want And then this alphabetic shortcut is like a shortcut like if you press the R button it's going to refresh the activity then we will give it order in category first that means it will be the first menu and then one more property show as action and the value as if room that means if there is room in the action bar then this item this menu item will be displayed on the action bar and not hidden so let me copy and paste the menu icon in the drawable folder and you can see the refresh icon now and since there is space or since there is room in the action bar so the refresh icon is displayed and is not hidden then anyways let's get below it and define the list of the menu items so we are going to have menu items like update profile, update email, delete profile, change password. So I am going to define them one by one. All right now to display these menu items we have to call a method so anyways let's get into the user profile activity since we want this menu to be displayed in the user profile activity and all the activities which are visible to the user after logging in so inside the user profile activity after all the methods are closed we need to overwrite on create options menu so we will just overwrite this method and then we have to inflate the menu items with the menu items that we have created so we have to use get menu inflator dot inflate within the inflate we have to give the name of the resource file that is r dot menu dot common menu and then just menu this menu variable is the variable which is the parameter of the on create options menu so just write it menu then we have to overwrite on options item selected this method is going to be responsible for performing the action according to the menu items which were selected
so let's define one integer variable id so in this id variable we are going to save the id of the menu item which was selected and uh, you can see in the parameter of the on options item selected method it is accepting the value item which is a type of menu item so that means whichever menu item is clicked the id of that menu item will be stored in the integer id variable then we have to check which menu item was clicked so for that we can just use if else statement so if id equals r dot id dot menu refresh that means if the id of the menu item which was selected matches with the id of the menu underscore refresh menu item that means menu refresh was clicked so in that case we can just refresh the page or the activity and uh, you can see that in the app clicking on the refresh is just refreshing the page and if you want to get rid of the animation which is being displayed you can overwrite the pending transition so just give it enter animation 0 and exit animation as 0 Now on clicking on the refresh button, there will be no animation and it will directly refresh the page. Alright. Then in the else if part, we have to check for the rest of the menu items. So let's say the menu item which was clicked this time is menu update profile. So in that case, we have to open up update profile activity. So we'll define a new intent for that. and then we will start the activity in the same way i will define for all the rest of the menu items And since I am not going to define any activity for settings, so I will just use a toast message here. It is up to you if you want to use a settings activity or you can get rid of this menu item that is for you to experiment. Then finally we have this menu logout. In the logout we will just sign out the user or log out the user using the auth variable dot sign out. 
and we will display one toast message showing that the user has been signed out. And then we will return back to the main activity. The main activity is the starting activity of the app. And then we will clear the stack to prevent the user from coming back to the user profile activity once the user has signed out. And we have already seen how to use these flags with the intent. So I don't think I need to explain it again. And then finally we will finish this activity because it is not required after logging out. And then finally we will have a else part to take care of the case in which none of the menu item was clicked. Alright. And since we don't have these activities defined as of now, we cannot use them. So it's better to just comment them out for now. And as we go on and create those activities, we will keep uncommenting them. Anyways, let's run the app and see what we have in the app now. Alright, we can refresh. And we have the menu items and the logout button is working fine. Now if we log in, we are referred to the login page because the user has been logged out. In case the user was logged in, it would have taken us directly to the user profile activity instead of taking us to the login activity. Anyways, everything is working fine. Now we need to create the forward password activity. This activity will be used in case a user has forgotten his password and wants to log in. In that case, the Firebase is going to send one password reset email to the inbox of the user from where user can change their password. 